appears to be live. Good evening and welcome to a live Raggies Battle of the Beers. So we have got two amazing beers. Spitfire, to be fair, when I worked at Sainsbury's, was the biggest selling beer um, in the UK. Um, we used to sell it by the pallet. It'd go down to a pound a bottle and it would fly out. We would have pallets nearly every other day. And that's just amazing. You know, the, the amount that um, Tisha Panim, yeah, actually sold then is amazing. And it's competitor, uh, Black Sheep Ale. So, from Masham in Yorkshire, Black Sheep is 4.4%. Um, Spitfire is, where's the bloody, 4.5%. Although, in can, Spitfire has a different ABV. Don't ask me why. I can never work out why you change the beer to go in the can. Uh, I can understand on the pumps, but not on cans. It's weird. So, Battle of the Amber Ales. I've done the strong beers. I fancy some a change from the strong beers. Jump on to the Amber Ales. So, going to crack on. Going to review. Going to... And for this time, I'm actually going to change it. I'm actually going to do a three-minute review on each of these with my camera turned on. And uh, good evening, Thomas and Kevin. With my camera turned on, I'm going to review them because uh, I haven't reviewed them for years. So it gives me a chance to review and then to jump back on the chat and then do to do the battle. So good evening, Liam. How are you, mate? Titanic Plum Porter and Rig Rolter. So... If I miss a few comments, I'll I'll quickly get back to them. So let me turn my camera on. Hello and welcome to another Raggies beer review. So tonight we're reviewing Spitfire, and uh, I'm also doing this live. So if you if you watch the live stream, you, you'll you'll have seen me do this. And if not, you know you're watching it live, isn't it? Um, so Spitfire Shepherd Neem, four point five percent amber ale probably the most famous beer in all of britain um like i say it used to sell by the absolute truckload at sainsbury's um toffee and spice aromas hoppy bitter finish crystal and ale malts kentish hops the bottle of britain and uh, yeah shepherd and neem they do make some amazing beers Good evening, Hidden Shallows and Benjamin. So, here we go. So, like I say, I'm doing a live review and I'm posting this and I'm also review, recording this to actually put a separate review out as well. So, as we can see, Amber Poor, little white head on this, crystal clear. Look at that bloody lovely clear beer. Very malty, certainly toffee on the aroma. <sighs> Ooh, you can't be a decent um, traditional beer. Taste buds have changed over the years for me. You know, I drink a lot more different beers than I used to. It used to be all trad beer. So um, it's interesting to go back to styles and to see which is going to be the winner tonight. I'm also doing a battle of the beers live as I'm recording it on my phone. Malty, easy going. Yeah, there's a reason why. Spitfire still sells in the numbers it does. It's uh, it's cheaper in all the supermarkets to, to push it out. Used to go down to a quid. These days, I don't think selling beers at a quid is viable anymore. Um, only only a, a once in a while, I suppose. But this is quality. Um, if I'm going to give it a score, now I would tell you it, about four point two out of five. Not as high as it would have been back in the day, but obviously. The beer world is change and changing all the time. But yeah. Hoppy, a little bit hoppy anyway. Malty, bit of toffee, um, bit of spice. But uh, yeah, lovely. Cheers. So that was weird. 
trying to do a review and also uh rain and good evening miss kubi kubims kubombs rather i'm crap at pronunciations just about to put a celeb on hub <laughs> Yeah, everyone loves this. I'm a celebrity, don't they? It's it's. Uh, I don't. I've never really been a fan of it. Never really watched it. But even the old lady's garden who I went to yesterday, she's watching it. She says, "Oh, sitting there watching me. I'm a celeb." And it's like, wow. I suppose it's interaction, um, something different. Uh, watching people eat insects and that. See, for somebody who's lived in the countryside, doing a lot of the stuff that they're doing. I mean, it's it gross. But a lot of people have been used to that sort of life, you know, especially these foragers. Good evening, David. So that was a little review of that. I will go right over it properly um, when I pour it out. So now a bit of a change. Putting, a, I'm doing like a two or three minute review so I can post the reviews afterwards. So I'll be ignorant for a second or two, but... Um, just like watching Hancock suffering. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice to get somebody like um, Liz Truss on there? Oh, especially after the other week. She ought to have gone on. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to watch her. I, th I think the old world would have watched that. Yeah. She did more damage to the world's economies. Oh, and Quasi Quartang. And in a space of a few weeks. Ridiculous. So, going to jump into review mode for a second and uh, well about two or three minutes and then jump back into the chat properly and then do the proper beer battle hello and welcome to another raggy's beer review also doing this live so it's, it's kind of weird and different so black sheep ale black sheep brewery there we go um in masham yorkshire it says on the back um then i can find my magnifying glass because i'm blind Founded by Paul, Paul Feaston, the original black sheep. A well-rounded premium amber ale packed with British hops and a complex malt blend. Dried fruits and a touch of caramel strike the palate, leading to a rich, a bittersweet finish. And uh, yeah, 4.4%. So we'll crack it open. And uh, good evening, Scott. So this is weird. You're watching me do a live review and I'm also videoing it for tomorrow. So... So, we'll pour this out. Here we go. And, uh, yeah. A little bit uh, well, amber in colour, which is this is an amber ale, so it's going to be amber in colour. There's a centimetre of white head on there, a little bit of carbonation going off. Not quite crystal clear, but uh, hmm, interesting. So, on the nose. Malty, there's um, there's an earthiness on the nose on this. Mm. Oh, different. Definite caramel on the taste. A little bit of a twang to it, got to be honest. But the earthiness. Obviously, Black Sheep Brewery make a lot of nice beers. More traditional brewery than the craft beer brewery, even though they have got some craft beers out. But, yeah. Um, if I'm going to give it a score, hmm, this is interesting. I'm going to give it a 4.1 out of 5. Yeah, it's it's a nice beer. Um, certainly a traditional amber ale. It's going to be an interesting battle uh, when I put it up against Spitfire. Not that you'll know that because this is this part. That's part of the review. But um, yeah, four point one out of five. Cheers. Dead way of doing reviews and trying to do all that. So back to the uh, back to the. Uh, um, I put that there, and I'll know what it is. So here we go. We just catch up with the comments. Do apologise. Uh, it looks like my piss. <laughs> Good evening, Max. How are you? Quasi has turned around and blamed Mistrust for everything, nothing to do with him. I think she wanted she wanted her away and that was it. I think you're right, mate. Good evening, Max. Good evening, John. Uh, looks like my piss. That's funny. Uh, good evening, Paul. Thank you for those beers, mate. Cheers. 
probably taste like it as well. Nah, it don't taste like piss. But uh, yeah, if that looks like your piss, mate, then me and you's got problems. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, hey, oh. Baggy, you would be good on celeb if there's trials for beer. Hey, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? Could you imagine beer trials? Could you imagine a beer reviewers? I'm a celeb. Yeah, they would be scrapping after about six pints. Um, <laughs> good evening, Slurpee. So. <laughs> You knew that was coming. Um, turn my phone off now. Um, <clears throat> it's good to be back on live. Good to be back in the chat. It's been an eventful few weeks, got to be honest. Got over this man flu bug that's going around. Oh, God, no worse, is there? And the problem is that I find with COVID that when you did get a cold, um, you absolutely get battered by the cold. Um, yeah, I've been a bit... Uh, I've had some issues lately with cars and bloody rats. Fucking rats again. Oh, bloody things. I hate them, I do. I'm up for a beer of yours. I'm, can I put the contestants? It'd be funny, wouldn't it, mate? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey. Uh, dear, oh, dear. Could you imagine do, doing like a live, but a mega live of, say, six beer of yours all in the room? And... Pff, That'd be some funny business, that would be. It would be funny. And everyone drinking and joining in on the chat and stuff. It would be funny. Hey, oh dear, oh dear. It'd be so funny. It would. So, that is obviously, um, here we go. Black sheep. So, in and uh, and here's the spitfire so we'll pour a bit of fresh in see little i've got the six belgian beers on thursday 12 to 4 12 pound 49 i tell you what don't you think that the christmas there's so many enticing beers coming out um have you seen the vocation ones that the the ones that look like the chocolates they just look bloody amazing they do uh, 33 quid um there's only so much you can spend though you know i mean we're all you know if you're watching you if you're watching your money then oof, has a few too many odin dark mild in the albert this outfit <laughs> have you bless you mate bless you i've done a few beers i've done a couple of beers today my, my achilles heel is when i bloody have a late beer and it ends up being something like a imperial ginger beer which never goes down so looks wise on this these are both traditional beers spitfire that side um black sheep that side gotta be honest the um save 26 quid without the glass from the bottle shop ah righty oh north versus south playoff could be couldn't it yorkshire versus wherever shepherd name is in fact let me have a look where is it no it's a battle of the amber ales but yeah i know what you mean um where are these based then? I can never remember where they're based. Is it Kent? Yeah, Kent. So, oh, crazy part of the world. So, yeah. Um, I'm surprised Craig hadn't done a sh shed load of Shepherd Neem beer reviews. I would if I lived down that neck of the woods. Um, so, on the looks, I've got to be honest, I think the Shepherd Neem looks better. Favisham in Kent. Good evening, you. How are you, mate? Um... Isn't it great for Ukraine to have um, curse on? Curse on back under their control. Um, obviously, we're a long way off celebrating, you know, over there. But um, it's a massive win for the Ukraine. And, uh, yeah, let's hope somebody nobbles bloody Putin. But anyway, back to the beers. So, looks-wise, I've got to give it to um, Spitfire in this hand. Um, looks wise it just looks a better beer um for a trad beer anyway that looks slightly hazy and being a trad beer <sighs> slightly more on the nose the, 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 the spitfire's got a nice nose on it gotta be honest um that one, yeah, it doesn't look right, does it? I would have thought it'd be, that's black sheep. 
so black sheep ale um yeah it's so mad that the grass is still growing below there it's mad isn't it it's absolutely mad i mowed my grass five days ago i had done it for a few weeks and then today i'm in the front garden and look at jesus christ needs mowing again it's just ridiculous uh the years i don't even plants don't know what's going off there are plants that are that are flowering and it's totally the wrong time of the year so yes not i'm glad that morrison's are bringing out the christmas bears again um i haven't seen the there's two brew york ones apparently out there uh fairy tale 21 and 22 um they'll be at the craft beer morrison's i think morrison's of of being crafty yeah crafty. <laughs> uh, the bulwar one near me that's got um there's no crap there's no fridges in there so that I, I think that's more of a trad morrison's we'll call it trad morrison's um it's got a That is not out and that's an amazing mp um the brew york christmas beers are not there funnily enough omnipolo is there the craft beer morrison's over in neverfield area that's got um stranix there and i'll bet you that the brew york releases are there uh, and it's got fridges as well so you've got a craft beer morrison's and the trad morrison's which is fucking balmy Christmas stuff once are gone, mate. No, they're either behind. Got primroses growing in your garden. I know it's crazy. Benjamin, yeah, until the frost come, mate, you, you're cutting your grass. To be fair, you cut your grass all year round these days. But um, I do, all winter long. I used to go out with a girl who cut grass. She was called Lorna. On your third base, Salter. It's Cascade, Fuller's ESB, and then Sierra Nevada. Oh, I do. And I've heard pronounced things one, two, yes. <laughs> so, um, on the nose, we'll swirl it around like people do. If I swirl things around, it ends up on me. So, I'm not really good at this swirling around business. Gotta say, only by. If that's the thing. that back on uh internet's gone down so i bet i'm laggy as hell as well i'm on my phone my phone um what's it? it's on anybody watching am i in let's see if i'm in the bloody room hello it says 13 people there 
and it says live. I ain't got a clue. Uh, new comments, yeah, click new comment. I go, um, Russians have had Billy playing hide and seek again. I'm drinking Audi Stout. Fair play there. Incredible ups to my god, he's got green fingers. Hey. Have your internet is shite or mine is, but you're stopping and starting more times than Barcelona at home. These things happen, mate. So, let me... Oh, oh it's showing up. Yeah. But a weird angle as well. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, right, here we go. Uh, run off. Uh, right, here we go. Good evening, Craig. And, uh, yeah, internet. Hello. There we go. It looks... Uh, uh, look, I tell you, this is why sometimes that lives just crease me, especially when the bloody internet plays up. So here we are from Craig's part of the world, um, Spitfire, and from Yorkshire, the old uh, black sheep ale. So here we go. Yeah, like I said, black sheep ale wins it's just ever so slightly on the nose. I'm going to try and get my other thing to come back on. You just love it when the internet plays up. I'll tell you what, I have more internet issues than anything. So use part of the world versus Craig. Oh, oh, there you go. So taste wise. Oh, that is a mean beer. That is a mean beer. That's beautiful. Toffee, a little bit of spice. Yorkshire should win this just by default, in my opinion. <laughs> that black sheep looks flatter than Lincolnshire. <laughs> so they're both multi traditional beers, traditional beers, even. Yeah, up yours, internet. I bet my son's on his bloody game again. And uh, robbing my internet, he's away tomorrow, so I might actually be able to do a live tomorrow if, if the because uh, he's not here, robbing all the internet. He's got the router in his bedroom and he just kills the internet for me. Um, one of these days, I'll sort out a cable to the shed and do it properly, and, uh, some sort of router thing as well. But uh, in essence, not tonight. So it's interesting though that lowering the quality of the feed means it's uh, i mean the pitch quality to me looks better on here how old is your son 26 <laughs> i think yeah 26 yeah good evening brett how are we so taste wise then mm. is that the old one Beauty Mart. <laughs> no no, he's helping us pay for the bloody BMW to be fixed. So, uh, yeah, neon 1,300 quid fix. Better than 2,500, mind you. Bloody cars, eh? They're, they're an absolute pain, aren't they? I could be your son. Yeah. <laughs> so. Gotta be honest, there's not a deal in it, you know, because they're both ambers. Although the colour on that, I'm sure it's not supposed to be that colour. Can you see the haziness? All good but bloody shattered and spit by winds for me. Last time I had that out was when I saw Metallica three years ago. Fair play. I've not had Spitfire for a while, to be fair. Um so tough battle. Spitfire looks the better, I've gotta be honest. Um and the smell, there's not much on the aroma between them. Can't believe the internet died on that. Might be bottle conditioned. Yeah. Now, that's interesting. So let me get the old magnifying glass out, because if it is. Uh, Doesn't say bottle condition. Yeah. 
surprising though because obviously these guys know how to brew beer um a different breed of amber ale yeah no, it mentions nothing about bottle condition which is quite strange really in that respect good evening martin so let me just uh can i scroll the comments yes i can better than that but no i did not think it was bottle condition so maybe i've just got a um I mean, look, looking now, it's looking a little, like a little bit more clearer. So maybe I shook it up. Who knows? Anyway, I don't really care if it's easy or not. It's more of a taste that I care about. I had two Suzuki Swift Sport in the last eight years. Never had a fault. Prefer a bishop's finger. Hey. <laughs> Great beer. Wrong name. Yeah. Hey, bishop's finger. There's got to be a, really, a reason. For that name in that bishop's finger. I mean, it's just funny, really. I'm a big Japanese car fan, Paul. Toyota or Lexus. Duff bottle, then, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? You know, it'd be interesting to actually message Black Sheep and say, is, does it, is it supposed to look like this? Good evening, Sam. It's been a while. Here, let's put your name on the screen. There you go. Oh, no, you're not. No. There you go. Fucking down it, son. Hey. <laughs> Black sheep or feetstons? Oof. Feetstons. Um, I'd actually go black sheep over feetstons. As someone who lives in that area, who was born in that area, what's your take on it, uh, you? And Benjamin, of course, because that's both your area of the will. Um. Is there still beef between the breweries? It's quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> um, but that's families for you, isn't it? You know, families are funny. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm sure we've all got that member of the family who's an arse and uh, doesn't want to play a game. Beatston's XB versus Black Sheep Bitter. Ooh, that'd be an interesting one. You had a very average pint of black sheep. Did you recently? I prefer Feaston. Old Peculiar got me into beer. Fair play, mate. Fair play. I'm a Feaston spit. Right here. Yeah, interesting. Obviously, people from neck of the, the uh, one neck of the woods, it's like in Nottingham, you know, certain breweries, you, you know, you like and certain breweries, maybe not so, not so much. Feaston's mild in my local three pound a pint. Ooh. I don't think I've ever had a Feaston's Mile. Um, I've, I've had, the ones at Marston's, I've had their miles. Feaston's Mile. There was a mild in Morrison's years ago. I'm not sure if that was Feaston's. It might well have been, actually. And if it is, I've reviewed it. Do I like Nottingham Brewery? Very old-fashioned brewery. Um, they were, do some nice beers, to be fair. Um, but, yeah. Very old fashioned. They, you get breweries that are modern, traditional, and then craft beers, and then you know a, a combination of craft, traditional. They are stuck in the tradition. They are not even modern, traditional. They are stuck wholly in the traditional area. Um, I'm hoping that they're one of the breweries you know that, that don't go under because breweries. Breweries are struggling, aren't they, around the country? Feaston OP and the Royal Oak and is the best part I've had this year. It's sublime, right? Let's see if I can get this bugger to come back on. Well, as for Feaston, that's in impressive, yeah. Feaston's mild is only on electric and rather mere. Yeah, Do you know one of the best milds that I've ever tasted? Well, two of them, actually. St. Peter's Mild, which is stunning. And, uh, and I, but I also like Green King Mild. I know it's Green King. And uh, I don't like that what they did to Hardy and Anson pisses me off royally. But I do like their Green King Mild. It's really hard looking at a little screen for the comment than it is looking at a big screen. Come on, you reader. But it's interesting that the phone's working. So all I needed to do was drop the flipping resolution down and I could have carried on doing the lives. Is it coming across as laggy? 
or is it just coming across as normal? This is this super interesting for me. Bloody resolutions, and that's all it is. It grates me at times. The only problem is it's really hard to see on the little screen, man. But they do. Yeah. See, I loved Nottingham Brewery when I went to the pub in front of the Bear Brewery. I felt like I'd gone back to the 80s. Yeah. I've never actually drank at that pub, you. Um, and I forget that it's there, to be fair. At least you're not trying to read comments after multiple impairs and ginger beers. Yeah, up and out last night. Ooh, beer. Ooh. Eagle Brewery Sticky Toffee Pudding Beer. Love it. Yeah. Um, obviously, it used to be made by Wells. And I think Wells came away from Marston's. Or is it Carlsberg Marston's these days? Eagle Brewery now have been sold um, to somebody else. Yeah. Or they've gone under. Uh, I did see that the other day. We can see every majestic hair on your face. Good job you've got your own toilet at work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good job I want at work today. No, I just fell asleep early last night, to be fair, but oh, God. The choice is John Smith's or Cronenberg, Carling or Feaston's Mile. Oh, fuck now. Feaston's Mile over all of it. Yeah. Is Raggy growing a beard or acting the goat? I hate beards as well. Absolutely hate it. I've got mates who who um, who grew beards just to be fashionable. And it's like, grow a beard if you like to grow a beard. But don't grow a beard just because you're jumping on the little fashion thing. Um, yeah. So let me wrap this up and then I can chat without even thinking about beer. I can just drink beer and forget about it. So taste-wise, here we go again. Boy, what's wrong with it? Nothing, mate. As long as you're not one of these idiots uh, or people out there. But because it's the new fashion trend, you know, like, like the people when the bro, when Bross came out years ago, everybody was getting them stupidly slick back um, airdos and they looked bloody awful. So Craig was steaming on Friday. Yeah, Jesus Christ. He was on for hours. I looked about six o'clock and you'd, you'd done an early live and I thought, oh, I'll have a nosy before I go and do a bit of you. And then it must have been about 10 o'clock or something. I looked again. I was trending before it was trending. Yeah, there you go, mate. Yeah, not trying to jump on the um, the the trend bandwagon. I mean, I'm not trying to jump on the trend bandwagon. But uh, one, I hate shaving. And two, it's cold this time. I just smoked from sour the other night. Oh, that does sound nice. Beards are great as long as you're not having soup. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Don't want to go down that road. Tell you what, when it comes to beers, I had a barrel-aged uh, Neon Raptor Centaur Army yesterday. Without a shadow of a doubt, probably the beer of the year so far. £12.50, not cheap. Um, but Jesus, if you see it in your bottle shops, um, it's a stunner. If you like, barrel aged stuff, obviously. Smoked plum sour. Ooh. Is it England versus Pakistan in the World Cup final? Is it a World Cup final? I don't know. Not really a cricket fan. I just seen something come up the other day and, uh, yeah, 12.50. I'll take three hours of work. £12.50, that is certainly out of my comfort zone. But it was a stunning beer, without a shadow of a doubt. Two lots two lots of um, bourbon barrels with the Imperial Stout in, blended together. So, And the complexities were just off the charts. England won this morning. Awesome. Good evening, Mr. Bowman Beer Reviews. Okay. Oof. Good to see you, matey. Yeah, we won the cricket this morning. Ah, right, yeah. Just shows you how much notice I've taken. You don't even come up on my feed. All that comes up on my feed is about Ukraine and some other silly things that I don't really want to... You get what you pay for. Yeah. The 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 £9.50 um, Centaur Army was good, but the the um, the £12.50 Bourbon Barrel Aged... Castle Rock Preservation, yay or nay? 
1998. And you, Castle Rock, have brought out an ESP version, extra special preservation, and that is absolutely top notch. It's it's on cask going around. I wish they'd put some of these things into box. Pub well, opened at eight this morning for the cricket. Well, yeah, well, I'll be other mate. I can't. I, I I mean, it's great that England won. I can't be doing cricket boring. Sitting in the stand while some bloke batting the ball at the end. Yeah, fuck that. Although, if I was getting pissed up, I'd be all good. Yeah, you'd love that, mate. I had it in the uh, the embankment pub uh, before the Emperor's Brewery um, charity do uh, about four weeks ago. And, uh, yeah, it was belted. Anyone care about the World Cup this year? Well, I might watch it when it's on. But, um, I've got big. I've got enough worries about my bloody house and stuff and cars. Eight this morning, or the bushes out would be superb. Ooh. We do need a piss up, mate. Next time you're there, in this neck of the woods, yeah. Tell the wife I say I'm I'm I'm, I'm out all day. I'm on the piss. Yeah. Around the pubs of Nottingham, yeah. I can't I can't even go in those pubs now. The big. The proper pubs, the brewery pubs. I can't go in any one of them without somebody noticing who I am or smiling and giving you that smile. I say, I know who you are. And uh, it's really funny. <laughs> but it's nice. Just recently, I've had um, my internet back on that. Um, just recently, um, bring Mrs. Raggy Rivian in there. She'd be on bloody cola all day or Bailey's costing me a fortune. I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> but it is funny because I tag I tag all the brewer, breweries and pubs in. What does Mrs. Raggy drink? She likes Baileys. She'll have the occasional glass of wine. Um, she, she does like the odd imperial stout. That's a good one. Um, but yeah, most of the time she's drinking bloody shandy. I live opposite a small farm, very close to river, lots of fields. I'm worried about rats this winter. Yeah, you and me both, mate. Whew. Yeah, she likes the Baileys. Yeah, different flavours of Baileys as well. But you're, you're telling the wife you'll be going out on the piss. Red card, yeah. Definite red card, yeah. Yeah, definite bollocking. Although some days, some days I can drink all day and come home, walking in, and I've had a drink, but I'm still good. Is Broadside a good pint? Yeah. Well, it's really weird that Broadside on cask is 4.8% on in the bottle, 6.3%. How the hell is there that big a difference? I mean, I like the, the boozy side of it anyway. So. Okay, um, I'm going to go with Spitfire. It just nibbles out the black sheep. Um, I've seen loads of us this year, more than ever. Middle of a road, near a pub, loads on carpet. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's the reason, Benjamin, isn't it? So for me, the winner of the Amber Ale was only just... Uh, Spitfire. Have you not had Spitfire, you? Malty, a little bit of toffee there. Oh, hold on. Pour the rest in, then I can actually tell you properly. There we go. The winner. Flying the flag. Well, Yorkshire did win the strong beer battle. Yeah. Um, it beat, Rig Welter beat McEwen's champion, funnily enough. Brandon Johnson and Nico Williams playing for Wales in the World Cup. I tell you what, Forest, Nottingham Forest, there's a slight igni ign igniting now. It's getting it. I mean, we beat Tottenham in the midweek. That Brazilian player who we've got, I didn't even know we had a Brazilian player. Shows how much no sub been taken. Uh, that goal he scored was sublime. It's going to go 1-0. The win yesterday against Crystal Palace, 
we've just got that, that flickering of embers now and about time. I had it once because I found it in the random shopping pony book and that not a massive shepherd named fan. Surprising because you like your cask. Um I do find that a lot of the beers from Shepherd Neem do taste the same. Yeah, Greg. Um, yeah, the momentum. Let's hope we don't lose this momentum. But we're, we're starting to build as a team in some ways. Yeah, Benjamin, I can't even listen to the TV these days and figure out who's playing for Boris. And it's like, you hear a name that you remember and you're like, ah. Boris. <laughs> Shepherd Neem Yeast has got a weird... Yeah, these Kentish beers. Apologies, Greg. Um, they are a bit similar, shall we say, in taste. Um, malty. Bit of toffee. Hint of a spice. Beer. I'm at Salford away this Saturday. Yeah, fair play, fair play. How's Carlisle doing these days? Knox County seems to be doing really well. Good evening, Nigel. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Beatstons would shag all over black sheep. Bitter. We'll have to do. If anybody's got any um, beer battles they'd like me to do, I'm good for that. You know, um, Feakston's, like you say, the Feakston, is it the XB versus Black, Black Sheep Bitter? Yeah, that would be interesting, just outside the playoffs. County win 4 0 the other day, Notts County. I mean, I don't follow Notts County, to be fair. Uh, bad enough following Nottingham Forest at the moment, but uh, we're only making plans for Nigel. Bad result for Sheffield Wednesday. Knocked off the top spot by Burnley, who beat Blackburn today. Oh. So. Second in league going into the break. Not bad for the Blades. Yeah, not bad at all, mate. You're going to... You're going to... What with the, with the old chips? Craig wearing... What's that? Miss that. Craig wearing Stone Nine and taking on the South. I mean, yeah, Greg. Oh, all right. Oh. County gone top again. Are oh, they in the same league as you then? Uh, with Carlisle. It shows you how much I took notice. A couple of Stone Islands too. Hmm. So. I suppose the only good thing, we're going to those parts of the country. Um, following your team round is one you can try beers from pubs you've never had maybe sneaky beer reviews which I would do even if they're only two or three minutes you know not your normal beer reviews but like shorter beer reviews you know even shorts even even a 58 second short review is good um county of the league below ratio yeah and if they carry on this year, I think they'll go up. And we've got Mansfield. I think Mansfield were doing well. I'm sure they're in the same league as Carlisle now. I forget with these leagues. Um, I'd just love Derby to stay where they are, Mansfield, and, and not Scanty to go past them. Because that would just be funny as hell. I'm hoping to get Sure Shot Brewery Tap Room. Ooh, opens for the first time on Friday. Bless you. Got any more Polish beer to review? I have. Um, oh, Jesus. So, I've got this one, mate. Mansfield in our league. We're above them. Ah, fair play. Boddington's or John Smith's? Ooh. I think I'd go with Boddington's over John Smith's. But these days, I'm not overly keen on either of them. Um, no, oops. I think that's Polish as well, to be fair. Two great Salford pubs for you, Greg. The New Oxford and the King's Arms. Yeah, Burbant. Got that one. Uh, oh, I see another bug or something. 
back of took them off. Took, took some of them on holiday. Mm. So, move that out of the way. Oh, I can drink in peace now and uh, just chat. Although I'm cooking dinner when I go up the house and I've got to empty the dishwasher as well. Because the wife's done another free cakes today. She's only just um, come back off. She had an operation on Friday. And she's done about... Uh, You'll like that pint. Oh, right, yeah, that's good. Good. Uh, just a pie. Chicken, chicken and gravy pie with garlic potatoes. Yeah, with a chicken gravy. Nothing, nothing too uh, elaborate. It's funny, you know, you know, because obviously the prices in the UK are ridiculous for food at the moment. Steaks have gone from like three quid up to six quid for steaks, and it's like flipping heck. Um, so nowadays, um, and to be fair, honest, I've got I've gone off steaks. Now we're having we're trying to you know you do different stuff all the time now just to make it interesting. Miss pies, yeah, I do like a nice pie actually. Yeah, I'll be honest. We need to stop hitting. We need to. We had, I had some sausages last night that were just absolutely amazing. Um, there was six pound for six, so they want cheap. Gar, um, pork, red, red wine, and garlic, and uh, um, oh god, they were stunning, absolutely stunning. See that. See that Weatherspoons are on about selling a load of their pubs. So um, obviously it's starting to bite for even them. You like the look of your sausage? That sounds wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Will Weatherspoons closing uh, mean that pubs, you know, because it's going to be harder for Weatherspoons to get cheap beer unless they stick to Green King and, and that, Marston's and the like. Um, cause the, you know, with the price of beer going up, it's going to be very interesting. Holy sausage is class, fair play. Only got one Weathers in Warrington now. Yeah, I think we've got about 10 in Nottingham. Yeah, because there's one in, there's one in Arnold, one in Mapley. Yeah, there's quite a few knocking about. Spoons in Penrith, they're, they're cans of siren in the fridge. Some trash seems to be sold in rubber spoons these days. Mm, yeah, not the greatest, is it? Fourth and last beer, Maxwell Rainer held. Out of date, February 2022, 10 pence from okay. Auburn's. Best rubber spoons in Nottingham. Ooh. I don't know, mate. None of them are that great. Uh, I like the one in Arnold, to be fair. Good evening, Mr. Hophouse. How are you? Um, yeah, I like the one in Arnold, but rubber spoons are okay, but you go in and some of the clientele, you know, some, not all. And obviously, when it's two pound a pint, people get drunk a lot faster. Obviously, it's cheap, and you know I can't fault anybody for going in and drinking and eating in there. Actually, Samuel Hall in Sherwood, best spoons in Nottingham. Raggy's tap room starts doing food tomorrow. Ooh. Meal of choice: steak. Got to be steak. Aberdeen Angus steak, Ooh. or the breakfast. You know, the big breakfast in the morning before you go on a. You know. Go boozing. It's, it's got to be the thing, hasn't it? You've got a, a nice big breakfast before you start boozing. Uh, keeps you sober a little bit longer. Toilets are easier to find in Raggy's tap. Yeah, what, straight outside the door? <laughs> no, don't do that anymore. <clears throat> Get told off. Good evening, Andrew. How are you? And Matt, good evening. He loves to stay. I do like to stay. <laughs> Apologies if I'm missing any comments. Stupid internet went down on my computer because the Chromebook's by far better. 
well, this I can't believe this is working fine. All the issues with lack and stuff. And uh, all I have to do was drop the resolution. And that was that was um, Adam. Adam said that missing English breakfast. I love it, English breakfast. Steak is your number one meal. Fair play, mate. Fair play. Yeah, not keeping too bad, thank you. It's uh, obviously we're coming up to the cold time of the year now. Well, you'd think we're coming up to the cold time of the year, but not lagging at all. That's great. Why did I not know that the resolution was the thing that was? And I deal with computers, and it's about we don't need you in our resolution. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Just finished work, bloody train, 20 minutes late. I think all the train companies are a shambles. I think it needs to go back in, back to the state. I think all these things that, that have been privatised need to go back. Weatherspoons want to buy more pubs with accommodation. That's where the money is. Ah, so they're getting rid of the pubs that are just pubs then. That's interesting. Surprised by the choice of casks. I noticed that Craig did a shed load of beer reviews from, from it must be his local Rabberspoons. Um, and I tell you what, some really nice first Christmas in shorts this year. <laughs> yeah. We've not even got our eating on in the arse. We've got the aircon on in the front room, but we haven't got the eating on, you know, save money. But you don't need the eating on. It's not that cold. What bloody jump on? And uh, it's as cold as fucking Poland. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, James. Thatcher fucked it. Boris sucked all the bankers. Yeah. Hey, now, why aren't all these banks helping to bail the country out? Why are we not windfall taxing the bloody gas companies? This is me off. God, man. <laughs> Brewdog advent calendar in Morrison. Did you? I've got my low cost advent calendar. Yep, I've got my low cost advent calendar. Climate change saving us money, our gas bills. Yeah, cl uh, to tell you the truth, climate change, you know, for a lot of people on, on low wages, this is an amazing uh, start to the winter. Um, well, autumn stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, if this carries on, brilliant. The more we get from the south this year, the better. Bring all that warm weather up. Yeah, good, good. I do like low cost beer, to be fair. They, they, they ah, you know, you're on the budget, aren't you? You know, you have to. You know, I can't, I mean, I went out and paid 12 quid for the Neon Raptor, but that's a special beer, but I don't pay 12 pounds very often for beers. 12 needs of Christmas, so, right. Hmm. I've had the eating on a couple of hours here and there, but not certainly not the last five days again. Best as the beer. Oh, nice. Uh, probably vocations naughty and nice. Yeah. <laughs> My wife still putting eating on it. A hitman would need cheaper. Hitman would be cheaper than paying British cats. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this year, getting used to wearing jumper. I mean, I've been sat in the ass with the hat on, I have. And uh, it hides me grey hair. It's all good. A lot of the beer prices are cheap over there, are they? It's amazing how it's so different here. It was an Audi yesterday, and they had their Avent calendar. Did you, have you seen that? Is that Avent calendar still got twice as nice thing? Because that's disgusting. Grabbed a bottle of Church's ginger wine. Whoa. Valley Castle Christmas Irish creams in. Yes. The white, the white bottle is stunning. Six ninety nine. Um absolutely top class. The Valley Castles are actually a good range. Um I reckon Bailey's make it for them, I do. It's all made in Northern Ireland as far as I know. Um there is tax. Yeah. Problem is the, the, they've reached that thing now where the breweries, a lot of breweries can't afford to keep the eating on in pubs. And for, for, for breweries at the moment, it's like COVID again, where they're struggling, you know. Um, although any breweries that have got 
coal fires or you know wood burners they're the best one which beer review are you doing next that's going to be fun isn't it yeah not enjoying the long attempts to pour it and get an oakum citra that way there um which beer, beer reviewer next? Oh, hoping to go for a beer with Harry this week because he's in my neck of the woods. Oh, fair play. I notice Harry's not been doing any lives lately. He's got a girlfriend now, hasn't he? So, um, yeah, bless him. And uh, it's, it's good to see that, the, you know, the beer review is getting together. One of these days, I'll get my heart out and... Uh, Visit other parts of the world. Review real ale craft beer. <laughs> yeah. The beer hooligan. That could be an interesting review. Um, the beer wall's looking healthy, mate. Yeah, it is. It's it's back up to its full full capacity. Um, I am going to do real ale craft beer. I am. I'm going to be positive though. I'm not going to be an ass. There will be comments that. Like with all beer reviewers, especially those who go viral, there's, there's something they need to do. And um, I was going to meet him in Sheffield, but ended up working there. I've seen an Audi selling Christmas cracker beer, three 30 mil cans at 99 pence each. Shit, that's an expensive wrapper. Wow. Robin bleeders. And that's the thing with advent calendars as well, isn't it? Come to Warrington. I'm going down to Dorset next year, next October, and in in March I'm going over to Norfolk. I'd love to come to Leeds. There's some amazing pubs in Leeds. Me and the wife have already spoke about this going up to Leeds. Simon is well. Let's be fair. The reason I did their reviews in the first place was because of Simon. So. Don't agree with some of the stuff he does, but then again, people probably don't agree with what I do. And um, he, he he's in that position where the vocation law. Yeah, yeah, I want happy with the vocation review. Yeah, where he poured it down the sink. That was that was a dick move. What's that? Norfolk is what? Is no fucking good. <laughs> Good evening, Rocco. Leeds superb and Ed and Grid. Yeah. Leeds is great and even better when Tartarus opened the tap room. Ooh. We've got it. We've got to go up. Have you got any beer or wine brewing, mate? No, nothing at the moment. Um, I'm going to be doing some grain brewing uh, round about Christmas time. Um, I'm going to do three Imperial Stouts. Um, I'm looking at doing a probably an, an eight percenter, something big like a fifteen percenter, and then something crazy like a twenty five percenter, uh, just for the crack, and just to see if I can do it from grain. So, although I think with the twenty five percenter, there might be a load of sugar, sugar going in because uh, the my fermentation vessel will not be able to handle all that bloody grain. Homebrew's going well, actually, to be fair. Pubs did I go in in York? I went in the Thornbridge one. Uh, I went in some shit old. <laughs> uh, that was it, actually. Yeah, we didn't do a lot in York, to be fair. Have you ever been to Doncaster? No, I've never been to Doncaster, to be fair. Benjamin's from Doncaster area. Um, yeah, I'm not, I've never been there. Like anything, you, you know, you want to go around, don't you, and visit all these places. Um, Donnie is a hidden gem. Yeah, well, um, Navigation Brewery did a 23% beer, and uh, I just want to see if I can get to that, uh, just for the crack, if you do. Oh. It's horrible trying to watch the comments on this this screen because um, 
365 pubs in York. Wow. Won't grant a new license until less one shuts down. Wow. That's miserable, isn't it? York's really, really busy as well. Now then. Little Plough, Doncaster Brewery, and the Margaret of Doncaster Station. Ooh. Okay. You would know. You's probably drank in more pubs than all of us put together. Uh, 8% my internet is is from Sheffield. Sorry, Benjamin. Oh, you're from Doncaster. And, uh, yeah, I remember that. Now, nah, Sheffield. So, 7%. So, looks like I'm going to have to kill it because, um, yeah. I didn't realise me stupid things had gone off. Yeah, 7%. It's going to go down to 1% in a minute. What's that? York is wank. Simon gave the Black Forest 4 out of 10. Ooh, I want to review that. The wife wants to go to um, 6%. Jesus Christ, it's going down back. Um, I want to review that, to be fair. So, I'm going to have to end it because it's going to die on me anyway. And I've, I ain't got no means of charging my phone. Uh, not down there anyway. But anyway, thank you everyone for joining in tonight. The lives will be coming back more often. And uh, this is really exciting for me, you know, in a weird way. That the phone works in the shed. And there we go, 5%. Right, going to have to knock off. Thank you everyone for joining in. And uh, we'll see you at the next live. And it won't be as long. I promise. Cheers. Ah. Need to click end there. Huh? See the bloody screen. The screen's gone dark on my fucking phone. Pardon my friend. Paul Avery Francais. There we go. Cheers. <laughs>